How do I perform a relay test at AutoZone? Hello and welcome to our tutorial. Today we will be guiding you through the steps on how to perform a relay test at AutoZone. This is an important procedure if you are experiencing electrical issues with your vehicle and suspect a faulty relay. What is a relay? Before we get into the testing procedure, it's important to understand what a relay is. In simple terms, a relay is an electrical switch that opens and closes circuits electronically or electromechanically. It controls a variety of functions in your vehicle such as powering the starter, fuel pump, or your car's air conditioning system. When a relay fails, it can lead to issues with the function it's controlling. Preparing for the relay test First things first, you need to locate the relay in your vehicle that you suspect is faulty. The location of the relay can vary depending on the make and model of your vehicle, so consult your owner's manual if you are unsure. Once you've located the relay, remove it from its socket. Next, you need to head to your local AutoZone store. Don't forget to take the relay with you. AutoZone offers free testing for a variety of components, relays included. Performing the relay test at AutoZone When you arrive at AutoZone, locate an employee and let them know that you need to perform a relay test. They will guide you to their testing station and provide you with the necessary tools. The AutoZone employee will place the relay into a relay testing device, which will check the relay to see if it's functioning as it should be. The machine will apply different electrical voltages and measure how the relay responds, indicating whether it is operating correctly or not. The test is quick and straightforward, but it will provide you with valuable information about the condition of the relay. Interpreting the results Once the test is complete, the AutoZone employee will interpret the results for you. If the relay is functioning correctly, it should have responded appropriately to all the voltages applied. If it did not, the relay is likely faulty and needs to be replaced. Remember, a failed test indicates a faulty relay. However, a past test doesn't necessarily mean the relay is not the source of the issue. Other factors could be at play, and further testing may be required. We hope this guide has been helpful in teaching you how to perform a relay test at AutoZone. Remember, it's important to regularly check and maintain the electrical components of your vehicle to ensure optimal performance. If you suspect a faulty relay or any other electrical issue, don't hesitate to get it tested. Safe driving!